Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jeff Krause. I'm a recent CEO of Cord Blood Registry, been in the seat for a little better than a year now, uh, and excited to give you a brief overview of our company. If we can keep moving. Can I do this, or? There we go. So Cord Blood Registry is the largest, uh, most experienced stem cell bank uh, for newborn stem cells. We have had a commitment to quality and excellence since we began in 1992. <clears throat> we have been profitable for uh, the last 15 years or so, and we have sustainable long-term operations. Uh, we were, uh, took on a large investment from a private equity firm out of Chicago called GTCR in late 2012, and as part of that transaction, I came on as the CEO. Since then, we are heavily focused on expanding the clinical utility of newborn stem cells. So just a brief overview of how this occurs. Uh, both public and private banks uh, basically have this similar approach. We identify pregnant moms generally fairly early on in the pregnancy. We have cord blood education specialists that walk them through the entire process. We have a distributed collection model that allows us to collect stem cells at birth uh, from all around the country. Uh, we've actually been successful in collecting them from all around the world as well. Of course, you have the logistics of biomaterial coming across borders and airlines and all that stuff, but we've managed to do that and have collected from some 60, 70 odd countries. Uh, about two years ago, we also introduced a cord tissue product. So now we have cord blood and tissue collection at birth. That's sent to our owned and operated facility in Tucson, Arizona, where we process the stem cells and then cryogenically store them. Uh, to date, we've had uh, almost 300 families either transplanted with siblings, matched stem cells, or autologous stem cells. So, <coughs> excuse me, some of the advantages of newborn stem cells, they have a long track record of safety and effectiveness in humans over the last 20 years. We think of it predominantly as, uh, as homologous use for blood cancers and genetic disorders. They can be preserved at birth and stored without loss of function, so we have over 20 years now of storage data showing long-term viability of our stem cells. Uh, and closest to fetal embryonic stem cells without ethical concerns, of course, even uh, the Vatican supports uh, newborn stem cells in their use. So uh, we believe it's an incredible source of autologous stem cells as well for non-homologous indications with a lot of research ongoing, specifically in acquired neurological damage. These cells are immature, so we believe they're powerful, uh, and they're also easy to obtain. So I mentioned on the uh, one side, there's the, more the traditional applications of HSCs, whether they be bone marrow, peripheral blood, or cord blood derived in metabolic disorders, blood cancers, et cetera. Where we've been taking the science lately is in applications for regenerative medicine, as I mentioned previously, predominantly acquired hearing loss, also looking into some autoimmune disorders like type 1 diabetes. Interestingly, as we've gone forward with the regenerative medicine applications, we have seen a massive increase in the number of stem cells being requisitioned from our lab for uh, either clinical trial use or experimental use by some of our client families. As you can see, we're approaching over 300 uh, samples requisitioned and used in humans. <clears throat> so. As we go forward, CBR is incredibly interested in looking for extended partnerships to grow our efforts in uh, regenerative medicine. We have uh, in our banks today a population of over 450,000 children. Uh, <clears throat> based on the research that we've done uh, and continue to do by uh, phenotyping our patient population or our client population, I should say, uh, we have over 1,400 children with cerebral palsy. That's a common area where we use the stem cells. Uh, 2,200 children who have suffered from traumatic brain injury. Uh, of course, pediatric stroke is also a major indication. We believe we have 200 plus. And uh, we're also looking into hearing loss where we have almost 1,000 patients in our bank. Unknown to many people, we actually have a fairly respectable uh, FDA-regulated uh, clinical trial 
uh, program. You can see here uh, we started an autism trial a year ago uh, at Southern Neuroscience. That's a 30-patient trial. <clears throat> We're working on cerebral palsy out of the Medical College of Georgia, uh, traumatic brain injury. Uh, Duke is also doing a substantial amount of research in cerebral palsy, HIE, developmental delay, uh, et cetera. And then we have been working uh, over the last couple of years uh, looking at type 1 diabetes and the use of these stem cells. So uh, I stayed away from some of the heavy details on endpoints and status of our clinical trials. I'm more than happy to speak with any of anybody in the audience uh, afterwards to discuss. Uh, what I wanted to put up was more of a, a broader picture of how Cord Blood Registry is thinking about partnerships going forward. We think we're in a very unique position in terms of our access to uh, young pregnant families, uh, our commercial channel into OBs and labor and delivery staff, uh, our cash position and profitability to move forward all kinds of exciting opportunities. We think about it in kind of three big buckets. Uh, we have spent the first 20 years of our lives really working on uh, minimally manipulated cells, which is exciting because that allows us to move rapidly into human clinical trials because there's no toxicity profile. Uh, we are very interested by the science we see uh, here today and are interested in pursuing partnerships more focused on manipulated stem cells and potentially using our bank uh, to, to leverage those technologies. And then just generally core, core business enhancements, which in other words, we have a, a very advanced uh, collection processing and storage facility. I hear a lot of people talking about the cryogenic storage. That's something that we're very good at. Uh, and we also have a very strong commercial capability. So I'll finish ahead and keep us moving towards lunch. So thank you very much, everybody, for your time.